How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another video on the community questions, which is where we basically look through your response to a question that I put on my YouTube community section. We'll talk about the comments that you've left and we'll then give a little bit of extra thought on that as well. And honestly, you guys seem to really enjoy these videos and I love making them. So hopefully you enjoy this one as well. The question that I put up for today's video was, why do you play RuneScape 3? What makes it so special and what keeps you playing each day? Comment below any answers may be used in a future video, and of course, as always, names that look like real names will be cropped unless you guys say specifically not to do so. But this should be quite an interesting topic, I'm interested to see why you guys are still playing each and every day, see whether it's the same reasons as myself and the people that I've already spoken to about this. But also, of course, you guys that are watching now, if you didn't get included in this video, leave your reason down below in a comment, I'll be interested to read through those as well, and I'm sure other people will probably have a good scroll through there. But anyway, before we look at the first comment, there is a Twitch link in the description if you would like to follow me there and then also there's a discord link too if you want to jump in the discord server and get involved with the community that way too but anyway let's jump into this video let's look at the first comment and let's see why you guys play runescape 3 all right our first comment says i have a bit of anxiety and find it hard to talk to a lot of people in real life runescape and other mmos have helped me out a lot when it comes to speaking even in runescape you won't see me talking in big groups but the people i've met along the way have helped hugely Honestly, it's because of this that I love this game so much because without it and the community within it, I would probably still be like Tweak from South Park. <laughs> Okay, this is actually a really cool point of playing the game like this is actually really cool to hear about And I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people that relate to this if you do relate to it Then of course do let us know but the fact that this game is helping you out with your anxiety as well And is letting you actually reach out and talk to people in a way that you wouldn't normally be able to do in person It's such a cool thing because obviously everybody needs that interaction with other people It's just a really healthy thing to have and of course you don't want to be sort of sat all alone feeling like you don't have anyone to talk to So the fact that you can do that through runescape as well well and other MMOs you mentioned is just really really cool like I said I know a lot of people will be in the same sort of seat as you I'm sure there's plenty of people that have thought the exact same thing or whether the games helped them out in other ways as well making friends and talking to people that they don't know in real life is actually quite difficult for a lot of people due to anxiety like this person said and due to a lot of other reasons too so the fact that you can sort of do that between a screen but then once you get to know people you could maybe even go a little bit further and start talking to them properly then that's it's it's really awesome to see I'm very happy for you the fact that you can make friends on here and you can get involved with all the good bits of the community as well is absolutely awesome to see so thank you very much for sharing that the next comment says there's a constant feeling of progression that keeps me hooked even though I'm maxed there are still things to strive for I imagine the same goes for those who have comped and even trimmed this is so true this is absolutely true RuneScape is really good at giving you goals that you can work towards, things that you don't have to rush to actually get to, and things that take a little while but are still enjoyable along the way. Things like aiming to increase all your gear and stuff is absolutely always there, but there's so many other things as well like completing all the quests and making sure you do them all properly and understand what's happened. Going for comp and stuff like that is absolutely something that people do, but even once you're done with that, like he said, there's other stuff you can do, and the game is made in a way that you can set your own goals. For example, most of my YouTube content that I do, if it's a series, it's a goal that I've set myself. For example, my road to 100 Seru kills isn't something that you actually have to do in the game, but I've made a series out of it, I've made a goal out of it, I want to get to 100, see what is in the chest myself, and that's a really cool thing that you can do. Like Once I'm done with that, I could then move over to ED3 and I could make my own Eldritch Crossbow from scratch, all by myself. Like This is something that you can definitely do, and the game does it absolutely great. It's something that I really enjoy about this game, and something that I think makes content creation especially it's such a good thing to do on this game i've noticed in other games that i've played i've struggled to sort of come up with ideas and things about it that i could do for content because it's just not the same sort of style that i'm used to with runescape whereas i can literally sit down think of anything that i want to do a big goal and i can make a series out of it in this game if i wanted to and as long as it's interesting i set myself the big goal of being ready for god wars 3 release making my account ready for that so i can go straight there ages ago when i was in a position where my account was absolutely terrible and i was useless at pvm and that's become this big series that a lot of you guys watch even today and it's just such a good thing to do and that's what's keep me playing this game since then Having that big goal and having the progression, like constant progression working towards something has definitely kept me hooked as well, just like this comment says, and I think this is a really good point. This game is absolutely brilliant at keeping people hooked and keeping you feel like you're moving somewhere and constantly getting a goal achieved, and this absolutely can keep you playing for years and years on end. 
The next comment says, the money making aspect keeps me hooked. Somehow I really enjoy building my bank. This is probably one of the biggest goals in the game, right? Most people who play this game, when you get towards the end game, you're just basically thinking, right, how do I make money? How do I get the next big increase in my bank? And this is what most people do. This is what like everybody's striving towards getting. And don't JGX know it? Don't they know just how to get you guys in a position where all you want to do is get that dopamine hit again when you get a big drop and you see your bank jump from 1 billion to 1.3 billion and you're like 300 mil in that one little drop? Holy crap, that is brilliant. And then there's other things that jump your bank up by 1 billion, 2 billion, and they know exactly what they're doing. You could play for hours and hours and hours, get nothing, but then once you hit that drop on the 5th, 6th, or 7th hour or something like that, you suddenly think that was it, that was incredible, that was exciting, that was absolutely worth it, and you never actually think, frick, getting this actually just took me 7 hours because once you get that drop, everything else is forgotten about and the way that they've designed this game for making money is just absolutely incredible now the other side to this is there's items in the game that show wealth there's items that people actually strive to get and the items the unlocks and even just the stuff that doesn't do anything apart from look cool actually has value to it people value the items in the game people get attached to their stuff and they value it they they don't want to lose it but that's the thing you can lose stuff in this game fairly easily. You could be scammed out of it. You could be killed for it. If you die in the wilderness, you can lose that item. You had to buy the item from somebody else, but you could quite easily trade that away to somebody else or somebody could like ask to borrow it and then you never get it back. Like items in this game have a, a value to you and it's not just necessarily this item cost me 2 billion gold. It could be something that you've worked like 50 hours to achieve. So you're proud of that item. You're proud of the money you've got. You're proud of the value of your bank because you put all that time into it. And it is something that could technically be gone. You could technically give it away. And that's why the money making aspect keeps people hooked like this person has said. It really does. It's something that you can spend hours and hours and hours doing. And there's really no end to it. Even once you get to the point where you've got every item in the game. You can still build that money up and there's still items in the game that just do nothing except for look cool like a little party hat sitting on your head. These items cost more than most people spend on all the best in slot gear. It is ridiculous, but that is something you can keep going for and that will take you a hell of a long time to do as well. Unless you go to the gambling place, get really lucky, but don't, we don't suggest that. But I completely agree. Making money in this game is 100% something that will keep people hooked and keep people playing each and every day. Especially if you get that one drop on one day, then you go three days later and you're still logging in thinking, I'm going to get another one. It's going to happen. I'm going to get another big drop. So you keep logging in and then you finally get it. It was all worth it. And you just keep repeating the cycle. Our next comment says, been playing since I was 11. I'm now 28. If that ain't addiction, I don't know what is. <laughs> that is actually so true. And in all honesty, that hits a little bit close to me as well. I'm not quite 28 yet, but damn. Playing since 11 sounds about right to me. I think about 10 or 11 is when I started playing this game. Man, has it really been that long? Has it actually been that long? That is absolutely crazy. Unbelievable. In the comments, guys, how long have you been playing this game? Just leave a number. It doesn't have to be anything else. Just leave a number. How many years have you actually played RuneScape for? Next, the comment says, the sense of accomplishment from committing to a goal and seeing it through. Finishing an achievement set, reaching 99 or 120 in a skill after days of in-game grinding, completing a boss drop log, regardless of anything going on in real life, you have complete control to steadily move forward in RuneScape and it feels good to pass those milestones. This is absolutely true and this is something that definitely keeps people playing a hell of a lot because it, you've constantly got something that you can achieve and achieving stuff just feels absolutely great in this game because once you do get it you know there's something else bigger than that that you can work towards as well but you can see and you get rewards for it as well you can see the achievement there's always something to show for it whether it is a 99 skill cape or a 120 skill cape that looks a little bit better than the 99s and then other things that you can use to show off like emotes and that sort of stuff but then not only that you get rewards like items or things you can do in game now unlocks all that sort of good stuff so achieving goals is something that is always worth doing and it's something that people will always have to work towards the goals in this game are absolutely endless there is so many that you can absolutely spend years and years on this game and not complete them all of course eventually you are going to catch up and you are going to get them all finished that's what a trimmed comp player is i believe they've done pretty much everything in the game the great thing about that is once you've done that there's still so much stuff you can do like i mentioned earlier you can set your own goals people do things like trying to get a boss done 200 kills in a row without dying or trying to get the world record for kill times at a specific boss or just trying to beat your own personal records and seeing how far you can go with it trying to solo bosses that shouldn't really be soloed 
or getting rid of everything you've done and seeing how fast you can rebuild. There's so much stuff that people do in this game. And like I say, you completely make it up as you go along and it just keeps the game super entertaining. But not only that, you made a very good point of regardless of anything going on in real life, as in if you had any issues going on, anything that's stressing you out, or maybe you're just in a position where you feel like you've not really gone anywhere for a while. Like he said, you have complete control to steadily move forward in RuneScape and it feels good to pass those milestones. It's absolutely true. A lot of people use this game as a distraction from that sort of stuff. MMORPGs in general are very good distractions from that sort of thing to help people cope with things in a specific way. And even though some people might think that isn't healthy, there's other people that deal with stuff a lot better like this. They can keep their mind off of it. Personally, I sometimes do this as well. If something's stressing me out, I'll just dive into gaming and it can be a nice distraction from stressful things in life as well. Our next comment comes from someone called Alice and you say, I have been playing RuneScape on and off since 2004 with over 200 days game time. It's the world I grew up with. This game is just so unique. I've tried playing other MMOs, but none can compare. You can play your character any way you want, PVM or skiller. You are not forced into a class system. The skills are thought out and work well together and there is so much to do in the game. As a perfectionist, this is my main reason to keep on playing. I can completely understand pretty much everything you've just said here. First of all, the very first MMO that anybody plays tends to be that one MMO that no other can compare to. No matter how good the game is, you'll never get that same experience as when you first log into an MMORPG. You are exploring a brand new world and you are like, holy crap, these are other people playing. This is another world that I can actually go around. I can do this, I can do that. You're finding out all these quests. You're looking at these things. You probably got killed by some stupid wolf that you walked past and started attacking you, but that caused panic and it caused you to actually care. You're like, I'm dying. My character's dying. So having it as your very first game, the one that you grew up with and seeing it change as well and develop is absolutely huge this is a massive reason why people still play this game we've been there from the beginning a lot of people and you go through you see all the changes you remember stuff from the past it brings a lot of nostalgia to it it is absolutely crazy about how attached you can get to a online world and like you said the game is very unique most mmos as you mentioned will actually make you pick a class for your character you'll have to be a mage or you'll have to be a warrior or you'll have to be a tank or a healer and that's all you get to do now, in RuneScape, you can literally change on the fly. If you want to be mid-fight using melee and then suddenly put on a bow, you can absolutely do that. It might not be worth doing in that situation, but you have the option to do it. You can make your character whatever you want to do. If you want to be you really shouldn't but if you want you can wield a sword in your off hand and you can have a crossbow in your main hand and i'm pretty sure you can still use your abilities you'll have to be in melee distance to use your crossbow but i'm pretty sure you can still do it it's not worth doing but jagex have put it there and you can definitely do that if that's what you want to do but this is the thing you can do whatever you want with your character you can do all the skills all of the combat and it all does work together like really well like they've said we've already sort of covered the thing about saying that there's so much to do in the game so we won't recover that bit just for now but i completely agree with you on all of these points and this is a great reason why people play this game and probably still play this game if you agree comments let me know as i've said plenty of times now i'm very interested in hearing from you guys all right, so that is probably enough for this video. I think that we've gone through quite a few and to keep this video from going on for way too long, we'll end it here. But thank you all so, so much for everybody who has left a comment on this post. As always, I really do appreciate it. It is really cool to scroll through these and read them out as I'm making the videos. There is so many good comments and you guys sharing all your thoughts and the things that have kept you playing the game. It's been a really interesting read. If you guys are interested, you can go and find this on the community section if you want to read everybody else's as well. And of course, there will be another post up fairly soon with another question. However, the questions are sort of running dry a little bit. So if you have any in mind, do leave them in the comments down below. Message me on Discord, join the Discord link, post it in a um, section on there that I've made for you guys to put any suggestions in there. I am very interested in hearing any ideas that you guys would have, any questions you want me to ask the community. And then we can um, definitely do that if they are things that I think would be interesting for other people too. But anyway, if you didn't get put in this one, keep an eye out for the next one so you can get into that. Eventually, you probably will get into one of the videos, but a lot of people do comment on these. But anyway, guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like on it. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. There is a Twitch link in the description as well. So if you do watch Twitch, then go ahead, follow that, and you can catch me when I go live. But as always, I really appreciate you all watching. So thank you all very, very much, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.